Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, Jackson High, class of 97 grad here, Rocky Cheka. Um, so I was asked to provide a video on uh, leadership and positivity, positivity and uh, thanks for reaching out on that. I'm always happy to, uh, to help uh, fellow high school athletes, especially uh, Jackson grads. So I think everyone at this point is aware of the impact that COVID's had, not just on sports, but I think our uh, daily lives uh, to include work. Um, what I do know is that uh, we will go through it. Uh, we'll make it, and at some point in the near future, there is going to be a return to normal, normalcy, um, although that uh, although it may not be the old normal or the normal that we're, uh, we're used to. Um, and I think with this current situation, uh, like much in life, uh, you know, a lot can be told about someone and how they react and handle situations, in particular uh, adversity, I would say, from uh, an athletic perspective. Uh, I see this, uh, there being kind of two situations that uh, high school athletes they find themselves in uh, right now and I think the first being a senior um, and not being able to participate in your sport uh, your senior year so uh, I'm not gonna lie this stinks <laughs> and I know it stinks uh, but what I, what I can say about it is that uh, you have your whole life in front of you and there will be bigger and better things to come that may not be uh, what you want to hear but uh, it is the truth and in time uh, you will see that um, you know, for the people in this situation, uh, you may also be saying, well, that's kind of easy for you to say. But I would say, you know, I, not so fast on that. I, I do know very much uh, what that's like to not be able to participate. As, um, you know, my senior season, I had a, a back injury. Uh, I was able to play uh, through the football season uh, with it. By, but by the end of football season, it had gotten to the point that uh, it didn't allow me to, to wrestle uh, my senior year. So, um, uh, you know, so the sport continued, but I just had to sit there and watch. And I can I can tell you that was uh, that was very painful, uh, knowing uh, what what could have been. Um, so I very much understand, um, you know, what you're feeling uh, right now, and it is very unfortunate. Um, uh, but again, uh, I just want to reassure you, you know, life will go on, and uh, and things will be okay. Other uh, things will come your way, and uh, and you'll be all right. Um, for the second type of athlete. Uh, underclassmen um, or a handful of seniors that will go on to play in college at some level um, in their sport uh, I would ask you this um, you know what are you doing to prepare uh, what is your competition doing or are you thinking about what they may be doing um, I realize there are no organ organized uh, team workouts or practices right now but uh, I would ask again there's lots of questions you should be asking of yourself you know what are you doing on your own to prepare um, physically and mentally, you know, who's finding a way to get it done, to train on your own, are you seeing the heck with it, and uh, sitting around and, and watching TV, um, so, you know, who, hey, who's, who's figuring it out, who's in their uh, backyard running hills, who's flipping tires, who's, who's doing something to challenge themselves physically and mentally uh, to maintain uh, peak performance, you know, uh, who's, who's mentally preparing, like what I said, who's watching film, who's studying the competition, because um, I can tell you, uh, for the second group of athletes, not underclassmen, those will, will continue on uh, in college, a time will come when we start competing again, and, uh, and when we do, it'll become apparent who the people were that found a way and, uh, to get it done and who maintained their physical and uh, mental preparedness and who kind of just shrugged their shoulders and just the heck with it. So I would highly encourage you to, um, you know, take control of the situation. Don't let it control you. Take some initiative, get creative, and, and figure out a way to uh, get it done. So um, kind of in closing, um, uh, kind of a third thing I would like to mention, too, is, is to use this situation to develop your mental toughness and resiliency. Um, so this is, I think, something just about all of our society could probably use a, a big dose of uh, right now. So, so use it to your advantage. Again, it's all on how you, uh, and how you handle it. So um, you know, use the situation to come out stronger on the other side. But uh, like I said earlier, uh, that's a decision that you're going to have to make, and that's up to you. All right, so uh, that's all I've got. Hey, best of luck uh, to everybody out there. Keep training, and uh, go Bears. Uh, stay happy, uh, stay safe, and uh, stay healthy. We'll see you. Bye-bye.